good good afternoon so in this video right we're going to talk about like the history of rudolph diesel and how he contributed contributed yeah how he contributed to the diesel engine how we have modern day diesel engines um before we before we had sorry after we had this that's when he made the invention of the diesel engine so therefore before diesel engines we had to sell on these we had to use these or um or like if if uh ships trains and and other things of that nature we had to use like gasoline engine and steam engines so when rudolph diesel came up with the whole invention um it revolutionized the world so it revolutionized it even buildings you see the building behind me right so the building behind me um in case of anything goes wrong there's always a diesel power engine uh generator sorry i was gonna say engine but there's always a diesel powered engine that will provide electricity to buildings right so provide electricity to buildings and therefore because of that happen you now you hear the thing in the background right so you hear the truck the truck engine because of rudolf diesel's um invention it has contributed to that and it has like um made it possible for for things to to make things faster but with the diesel engine it replaced the uh, the regular cell ship so it replaced it so therefore we got to talk about the mini biography of rudolf diesel and how he contributed to the modern society in the industrial revolution so as we proceed in case you're wondering this video are you going to see real live diesel engines yes um i'll show footages when i was there next to these engine it's very loud it's very very loud but i'm hoping you guys like this video and please to towards the end you'll have an understanding of how a uh, a uh, uh, a man who has created this invention has contributed to many world victories of world wars victories of construction equipment and victor victories of everything else so as we proceed we can go on this nautical theory and i'll see you guys at the end of the video born rudolf christian carl diesel is a german inventor and mechanical engineer his most infamous invention is the diesel engine which burns diesel fuel so diesel fuel um back at that time they used peanut oil um rumor has it they used to use whale oil before petroleum was was um coming up in the game at the same time so when they discovered petroleum oil in pennsylvania um rudolph diesel was making his own oil for his internal combustion engine so that part being said um so he was born in march 18th 1858 and he died in september 29th which is next week ironically um in 1913 due to either suicide or or it was murder but we'll get to that part later on of this video so he was born in paris france and he died in the north sea when he was aborting to to london so he has three children he's married to martha uh french french can't really pronounce that last name but he attended technical university of munich and he was unable to graduate due to his illness but that didn't stop him from pursuing his engineering career so he gained much more experience and kept persevering and persevering and persevering um to keep on achieving his dream so for his next examination at the Souls brother machine works and went at winterhurst switzerland he graduated with the examination in, in January 1880 and returned to France. While working as an apprentice under under the company named Lind, or Linde, whatever you want to pronounce it, he was developing his thermal efficiency to create a better internal combustion engine to combat or to compete with um, with the auto engine. So that part being said, he was doing that. So he can make much more a better invention so he can make much more more fuel efficiency so as he was doing that so during his first test his first test failed a lot it was it exploded on him it almost killed him and he was like tampering with ammonia vapor which keep on exploding in his face and keep on almost darn near killed his lungs so or burn his face so that part being said so when his invention worked for many trials and errors 
Many of his ideas were the permission of his boss at the Lind Company and his also mentor. Rudolf Diesel has created the first motor official diesel engine, which is the 250-400 diesel engine, which is the first model you can see in the museum in Germany. So you can see it in many other diesel um, engine museums as well. And he made his dreams come true to be an engineer. So as his invention was created and he did all this stuff, he patented a lot of his inventions. So it's all over the world. Now here's the downside of this. The downside is that Nazi Germany was on the rise. So World War I was on the rise. And they found out the great news and the rumor about Rudolf Diesel and how his engine can supersede and has long lasting stamina. So so the, the, the Nazis in Germany thought of the idea, hmm, why don't I just use his invention to defeat my enemies? And Rudolf Diesel didn't want that. He was like, no, my inventions is for to improve better lives, but not to destroy lives. But the Nazi Germany Germans didn't see that. So in so as a result, Germany sort of exiled Rudolf Diesel from in the premises of the country. So he had to flee. Therefore, as he flee, he gave his invention patents to his wife. He told his wife, when I leave, if anything happens to me, I want you to sell this to the Queen of England and make sure you use that engine to fight against the, the Nazis or anyone else who doesn't deserve my inventions. So that part being said, so he went on the boat. So he went on the, uh, on the steam on the steamship called the SS Dren uh, Drenton. So he attempted to go to England to escape from Nazi Germany and that didn't work out. All of a sudden, when the night before the night before he died, mm -hmm. it was rumored that he just disappeared, and his journal, his other inventions, his other patents, his belongings was there. His clothes was never pressed, so the people was curious, and they were like kind of weary about it. They were like, "Wait a minute, where's Rudolph? So Rudolph is not here. This, this is strange." So rumor has it that he may got murdered. He may jump through suicide to protect his patents because he had much more patents in his head. He had much more invention in his head and he, he didn't want to spew it out. So for for the people who's not supposed to have it to have it. So that part being said is a, is a mystery to this day, but he has contributed a whole lot of things that has happened. As you see in this video, um, he contributed the engine when the engine got really, really, really really manufactured and really like what it is today it made ships more better submarines more better it made trucks buses stationary engines at buildings or facilities um it also made like trains locomotives and even early airplanes use, use these engines and to this day they probably still use it so Rudolf Diesel contributed a lot. So he contributed a lot and it helped it helped World War One to be defeated to defeat German not the, the Nazi Germany and Italy and other fascist groups in the world. So the Rolls Royce has made it what it is now because of Diesel's early inventions. Rolls Royce and Daimler has created the 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 new efficient diesel engine and for his for Rudolf Diesel's honor they made it out of his honor to make what it is today. So, yeah, I really want to thank you guys for this. And there's a brief, mild, mild, <laughs> mini biography of Rudolf Diesel.
you have learned about the history of the diesel engine and you have learned about how Rudolf Diesel contributed to the whole world and how his inventions, his inventions was made to help people, but it wasn't made for warfare. But because people took his design and made it what it is to defeat the world wars and the other future wars we may have and how it revolutionized from the age of cell into the age of the modern boat that we have today, the modern ship we have today, um, the modern truck and the modern bulldozer and the modern like building. I'm standing on top of a building next to a hospital. You see a hospital down there. If you can see it right there, if you guys can see it, see the hospital down there? You're probably not gonna see it. But anyway, it has contributed to many buildings having generators because each building has a diesel generator, a standalone um, diesel engine and it has contributed so much that we take it for granted so not saying gasoline engine is not good i'll do a separate video on gasoline engine but therefore because the diesel engine has really contributed every single thing we just take things for granted from cars boats trucks planes um well early planes because planes use um turbine engines um to buildings and bulldozers construction equipment even like generators like if we have like a disastrous storm it contributes to that as well so therefore i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like share subscribe and um those of you guys who are going to be engineers and um diesel techs i'm not a tech so i'm not a diesel tech i'm not an engineer even though engineering was my first major but i switched it to um, marine transportation with a deck license to be a captain of a ship instead of a chief engineer um because i'm not technically savvy i'm not a i'm not a tech guy really so uh i'm good at navigation but i'm not good at technical stuff or fixing problems i'm not good at that like i'm good at navigating out the problems but i'm not good at fixing problems but it's not about me this is about the history of rudolf diesel and how the diesel engine has contributed to the world so make sure you share this a lot of you guys who are interested in the engineering field um on, in ships there's plenty of opportunities to be an engineer on ships and on shore and offshore drilling um there's plenty of opportunities for people who are into trucks um construction equipment building generators um construction in general there's plenty of opportunities the diesel engine gives you that uh, ability that capacity to do that so yeah like i said before a few minutes a uh, few minutes before like share subscribe to this video please share it um bring the algorithm up and i hope you guys enjoy your day enjoy your night enjoy your morning your afternoon wherever you guys are located so there's your man kevin the navigator it's your host kevin the navigator and this is your senor kevin the navigator all right guys so fellow winds of fair cells on the next episode we're going to talk about the beginning of early transportation of ships how the egyptians um build the first ships to the egyptians the babylonians the phoenicians the greeks the romans all the way to the age exploration and how and how well actually we can go even earlier how people build dugout canoes before they put a sail on top of the boat so we got to talk about that as well so all right guys enjoy your time and i'll see you guys in the next episode see y'all later